Welcome to the Journey Woman community. I have with me in the hot seat today, Carolyn Ray, CEO and publisher of Journey Woman. And we're gonna have a conversation around our second anniversary at Journey Woman. Carolyn's been at the helm for two years now. And Carolyn, you've achieved a lot in the past two years running Journey Woman, uh, 18 months of which have been in a pandemic, <laughs> I might add. In two short years, you've redesigned the brand, you've redesigned the website, you launched community calls, you expanded into events like book clubs and webinars, community calls. Um, you've, you've really done quite a bit at Journey Woman over the past few years. You've bought a website, which maybe we'll talk a about a little bit later. Um, tell me, what makes you get up every day and do what you do at Journey Woman? Well, I think it's two things, Amanda. One is I absolutely love travel. It it changed my life at a time when um, when I lacked confidence to be by myself and to even get on a plane by myself. And um, and I want to always think of ways we can empower women to feel that sense of freedom. And you know the idea that you can do it. You can you can do anything that you want to do. The second thing is is the storytelling and the wisdom that exists in the Journey Womb community is unparalleled. There are there's no other group like this in the world that has women with 30, 40, 50 years of travel experience who want nothing more than to teach and share their wisdom with other women. I think that's just an incredible quality um, and that gets me excited because I'm always hearing these stories and and um, and the opportunity to share those stories and inspire women to travel. I mean that gets me up every day and, and every day by the way, even weekends. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> So Carolyn, tell me, over the past two years, what's been your most memorable moment of running, building, and expanding Journey Woman? Well, as you said, Amanda, it's, it's taken a lot of energy to get to this point. And, uh, and it's been very special for me because from the moment that I was invited to, to um, continue Evelyn's legacy, I was bursting with ideas and, and things that we could do because I right away saw that it wasn't just about women's travel. This is about empowering women. And Evelyn did too. She talked about that a lot. The um, the most memorable moment, I think, was was perhaps a series of moments, but it was it was realizing at a certain point last fall that um, that because of the work that we, and I mean we, you our advisory council, our tour operators, our contributors, all the women that email and call with ideas and moderate our groups and all these incredible women that, that um, help support Journey Woman. There was a shift that happened where I felt like it was mine and that I had earned the right to carry Journey Woman forward in a new way. Still aligned with what Evelyn envisioned to help women travel safely and well, but in a different way, as you've said, with all kinds of other things surrounding that. And of course, being in a pandemic kind of forced us to look at other things because we weren't able to travel. So how do you keep women inspired during a pandemic about travel? Well, you right away come up with all kinds of other ideas to do that. And I think, I think that the women in our community saw our commitment to do that because this isn't for me a job, this isn't a hobby. It's not something I do part time. This is my entire life is dedicated to Journey Woman and to the women in the Journey Woman community. Well, the world of travel has changed and it's going to continue to change in ways we haven't even imagined yet. What do you think the world of travel is gonna look like and how is Journey Woman gonna fit into that vision? I think we are seeing now an immense shift in values uh, in the world. So it's not just related to travel, but it's it's women are looking around at their lives after 50 years of working and saying, okay, this does not fit with my definition of where I wanna be in the world. It uh, Perhaps this company doesn't align with my values. Perhaps I just wanna have a different lifestyle. And I think travel in the past was for some, um, perhaps a hobby. I think now it's gonna become part of their life and integrated into 
the way that they live. So we'll see more women wanting to travel. We'll see more women uh, wanting to travel solo. And, uh, and I think a whole new generation of women who maybe never even traveled before is gonna look look at the world and say, I want to go there. I'm not going to stay home anymore. I want to go. I want to go see what everybody else has seen. What would you say is the biggest lesson that you've learned over the past two years of running Journey Woman? Oh, I think it would be patience. <laughs> um, patience, not just to travel again, but, but also, you know, we're going into, um, a time in this world where, where I think we're going to see some shifts happening in the way that people work. So all the things that used to happen quickly, of course, everything takes longer now and somehow seems to be more complicated, especially when you're dealing with technology. So my lesson has been to kind of restrain my ambition a little bit and, and let it, uh, let it go and kind of wait for the universe to tell me the right time to do things. So, um, so a lot of the things that we actually started last spring, we will be announcing them this fall. And that's okay because that's just the universe telling me, wait and be patient. So that's my lesson is, is patience. It's one of them. <laughs> and what are some of the things that are coming up for Journey Woman in the next year or so? Anything that you can tell everyone tuning in? So I've been thinking a lot about what's next as we return to travel. Obviously, it's going to be completely different than what we knew in the past. And it's not just the practicalities of travel, it's about where we travel, um, considerations for the communities that we're going to go visit, considerations for animals and wildlife and nature in the world. All of these things um, are going to change the way that we travel in the future. So. We have, um, we have developed a forum on our site that is available now for women to connect with each other, find travel partners, meet up in, uh, in cities around the world. I have acquired a new website that we'll be announcing in a, in a few weeks that will help women travel safely and well when they're ready. And, um, and who knows, there's lots on the horizon. I think, I think the beauty of the Journey Woman name and and the business that Evelyn created almost 30 years ago is that it can be a platform for all kinds of things. So I'm constantly in a position where I'm restraining my ambition for Journey Woman because I see I see so much potential. And, and one of the really important things with this new website um, will be that we'll have the opportunity to support small businesses in the travel and tourism sector. And I think that's something that we can do as women to help other women and make good choices about the kinds of businesses that we want to support. And certainly small women owned businesses have been severely impacted by this pandemic. And we as women can play a role helping them, uh, helping them recover. Absolutely. Any last words for everyone tuning in? Maybe a woman who is considering jo joining Journey Women and hasn't yet? If you're thinking about join, joining Journey Woman, I would say that there is no other group in the world like it. The women in this community have 30, 40, 50, maybe more years of travel experience that cannot be found anywhere else. And by connecting, by meeting, by joining the groups that we've set up to connect with other women, I think uh, that will make your travel experience richer. It will make it deeper. And of course, you'll have all this practical advice from women that have been there and done that, that will help you stay safe. Well, I think everyone watching can gather a, a journey woman is a, is a rock, a rolling stone that gathers no moss. <laughs> always something going on here, always something to do. Um, and we hope you join one of our activities, events, um, be part of our editorial soon. Happy second anniversary to you, Carolyn, at Journey Woman and to Thank you, Paul. Amanda. <laughs> and to every single woman who is part of this community and makes it what it is um, because it wouldn't be what it is without every single one of you thank you all for joining us happy anniversary happy anniversary